On today's episode, we're gonna talk about cold calling, how to create better content, and video platforms. Hello and welcome to episode 79 of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name is Aaron. And my name is Christian. And today, we actually have some rapid fire question. Rapid fire. Firing rapidly at us. First question comes from Shanti H. Pai. She says, how do you overcome a dislike for talking on the phone? Is it better to talk or email? As I prefer emails and texts versus calling and talking. You know, I was reading an article recently about millennials not wanting to talk on the phone because when we started using communication tools, we started with, remember Messenger back in the day? Oh yeah, MSN Messenger. Mm -hmm. Ding! Yeah, we yes. don't like anything that's uh, that we have to answer right immediately. We like to sort of think about the answer and then type it back. So that's what exactly what she's referring to right there. Right, so it depends on your demographic. If you're going after a business owner, say they've been around during their 30s, 40s, 50s, um, probably wanna pick up the phone and talk to them. There's um, not a real good way to get over that, but you are gonna get more business that way. If you're talking to a millennial and you send them an email, absolutely, you could text them, but eventually they're gonna wanna jump on the phone or meet in person as well, but that initial um, response, uh, look at your demographic of who you're going after first. Yep, for sure. All right, what else? All right, so the second question here is from Brian Rungadis. He says, he has two parts here, how do we create better content for our social media? And what are the things to look out for when we create content for our business page on Facebook? Interesting. How do you create better content? Um, hire a graphic designer. That's a plug. So how to create, check. <laughs> or text me. Uh, right, you can text them, absolutely yeah. text them, millennial. No, I think yeah, using the right tools. Uh, I feel like we recommend a lot to use Canva or yeah. Spark or any of that stuff, but it sort of starts to look the same. Because uh, other people are obviously using this as a free tool, but you know, if, if you're using the same backgrounds and the same fonts as everyone else, then you're not going to really stand out. And that was the question, right? Right, how to create better content for yeah. social media. So, I mean, as a visual standpoint, I would, yeah, stay away from these Canva, Adobe Spark, and go into Photoshop and do more creative stuff from scratch on your own. Uh, as if far you can. as yeah, as far as uh, other content, um, I guess find pages that you engage with on Facebook and figure out what those things are that make it engaging for you, like um, or like. Right now, popular videos, and what you're gonna see with this video um, that we have for Tip for Tip is that there's a bar up above and below, and that's just become popular, so we've just incorporated that into our marketing. So really pay attention, so watch and listen to what is popular and what you're liking and doing online already, and incorporate that into your marketing. So doing something funny, um, doing something out of the box is already gonna put you into the next level. Um, so if you can find those things, go find some pages and business pages to, to like, and then uh, the best marketers steal. So, I mean, that's what Steve Jobs says, just steal the ideas and make it your own. Hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, and then we have one last question here from Doug Kriz. He says, where should I post new videos when I'm creating them online? I think the answer for this is, where is your audience? If your audience is, for example, if you're doing tutorial videos, you wanna probably upload those to YouTube. Um, if you're just a, for example, creating regular videos like we are right now, we're gonna put them on multiple platforms because everybody has their own go-to area. Like, you know, for Christian, um, maybe, you, what's your go-to platform? Instagram? For videos? No, for just in co in consuming content. Uh, Where'd he go? A little lot, but for videos, YouTube. Okay, so he goes to we're YouTube to do it. Videos. I watch most of the stuff that I look at probably on Instagram or something like that. So you can cut those videos into smaller platform or smaller pieces and put them on multiple platforms. So for Instagram, 60 seconds of that video. For YouTube, the longer version of that video. Uh, for Facebook, maybe um, in between kind of size of the video. But try out multiple platforms um, and see where your audience is at and then who you're trying to reach would depend on where you put it at. Yeah. Wow, our first rapid fire. This is very candid, so. So uh, we're thinking about doing this more often, so if you have any questions, 
Have we decided where people are gonna drop the questions? They can. We haven't decided, we haven't decided where we're gonna drop the questions. We'll put that answer in the comment. Yeah. So. We might create a Facebook group. Or hit us up on Twitter. Nobody uses Twitter anymore. What? They use Twitter. I use Twitter. Alright, so. Anyways, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next week with a regular scheduled Tip for Tip episode. Um, but we might do this more often, so be on the lookout for these. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to our first in between episode where we answered your rapid fire questions. Hope you got a lot out of that. If you're a business owner and want to come on the regular show um, and get exposure for your business, all you have to do is go to bitbranding.co forward slash tip for tip and we will uh, we'll contact you, get you on the show. Yeah, we either call you or text you. Uh, we haven't decided yet on that part of it. It depends on if they're a millennial. Uh, we may yeah. even email. That's yeah. an option as well. It depends. It all depends. All right, see you next week. <laughs>